Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another car vlog. Today I am in Auburn, Indiana for the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Parade. It's a really neat event that happens every year where Auburn's Cords and Duesenbergs drive down the street right in front of you as they drive from the museum into downtown for a car show. But it'll be really fun to see what cars are here today and to watch them drive down the street. So without further ado, let's take a look around and see what cars are here. What's really neat is that the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum is still here and it's essentially set up to look exactly like it did as a showroom back in the day when they were still building these cars here in Auburn, Indiana. It's a really neat museum. I'm not gonna go through it today, but hopefully someday soon I'll be able to take you guys through it. There are a lot of uh, grand marshals in the parade. And what's really cool is that last year, I believe one of the uh, family members that used to own the Auburn Cord Duesenberg uh, company is in the parade, so it'll be really neat to see if he's uh, in it again this year. And it looks like that was right, Peter Hummel, grandson of E.L. Cord himself. That is so cool. They of course, they're in some very nice looking cars. Beautiful color. Just a gorgeous car. Look at that interior. That is just beautiful. I wish my school bus looked like this. I'll be like dressed like a Boy Scouts or something. That's kind of neat. Park, Yellowstone, yes, Park, Yellowstone Park. Park. Yeah, I don't know. No, I had no idea that this was going to be here today, but one of the restored GM buses from their big parade of progress that they used to do back in, I think, the 50s, showing all the advancements the company made. But one of those buses is here. And take a look at that. I actually got to sit in one of these a few years ago at um, Cadillac's Fall Festival in uh, uh, Michigan at the Gilmore Museum. I mean, this is just so historic, amazing to see. They used to have, I think, several dozen of these buses, and they would cross the country, go from town to town. It was a huge deal and show all the advancements they made, and uh, the side of the bus would open up, and they would all have different displays on the inside, and it would show different advancements but such a cool and historic vehicle. Amazing, amazing thing to see. And I was told that someone uh, privately built this little version. Oh, this is fun. Oh, look at how nice it is in here. Wow. Oh, that is fun. So, so cool. Here comes some of the cars that we already saw. There will, of course, be uh, many other cars, mostly from the museum itself. These are there inside of the museum, but it's really cool to actually get to see them drive down the road. I mean, that's a big, big deal. I love that color. That bluish green is just unforgettable. I love how uh, so many of these cars have an actual trunk on the back of the car, and that's where the word trunk must have come from because it's a totally separate thing. So far, this is my favorite thing here. Just imagine this rolling through your town to your parade. I mean, that is so cool. So uh, what we saw before was all the marshals and whatnot coming in to uh, wherever they go back downtown. And uh, now I believe the actual parade is starting to begin. Those are really sleek, beautiful looking cars. Some of the first cars I believe that have hidden headlights. What's really neat is this is probably the only place in the world where you get to see so many Auburn's cords in the same place and even driving down on the street. But I mean, how historic is this? And they're driving on the road here in the museum and the factory where they were built is just right down the road. Neat colors, white and orange. Man, I love how they're dressed to period. That is cool. And I love the unique colors of these cars. I mean, many of them are probably custom made for people back in the day. That's the kind of stuff you would do is you'd upgrade the cars and basically have a custom body. And with those individual enhancements, that made the cars uh, individually very unique. That is really sharp.
Boy, I wish that more cars today could be painted these bright, extraordinary colors like these. It would just be so cool to see cars like that on the road because most new car colors are just so bland. It's kind of sad to see, but these cars really stand out. That's got to be the oldest one yet. Oh, they got the tin signal on. Oh, now that is original. Supercharged. Oh yeah, these cars were supercharged back then too. And if I remember correctly, every cord that was built back in the day was actually speed rated to reach 100 miles per hour, which was extremely fast for the time. And I believe that each individual cord was tested to that speed, and then they received a really cool plaque if they uh, passed, which of course all the ones that they sold did. A lot of chrome on the front end of this. Here comes the first Woody of the day. Man, that sounds really cool. Wow, I love that red. That really stands out well. This cord has their headlights out. That's a neat look. I don't know if I've seen them with the headlights out before. I've always seen them tucked away. That's pretty neat. Now this one looks like it truly is original. That's awesome.
was the end of the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Parade. I absolutely love it here. It's so cool to see these cars driving down the road right by where they were made. Again, probably the only place in the world where you would see these cars on the road like we did today. And if you guys ever have the chance to come up to Auburn, Indiana, either to see the museum or this parade, I highly recommend it. It's a once in a lifetime experience. So thank you all so much for watching the video. And please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and come back again for more soon. Thank you.